Let's take a look at some of the track and user interface enhancements found within Cubase Pro 8.5. There's been some attention paid to detail with adding tracks. So now if I wanted to add multiple audio tracks, I could select right click, add audio tracks. Not only can I choose the number of tracks, their channel width, but I could also send them to different destinations such as my stereo output too. Adding multiple effects channel tracks is now possible with an added option of being able to place these directly inside or outside the folder. If I wanted them to be placed at the bottom of my project window inside the folder like previous versions of Cubase, I choose inside folder and then all my effects channel tracks will be created and placed into a folder. I may have situations where I want a VCA fader to be directly below a selected track and that's why we could choose the outside folder. And if I wanted to add a group channel below the selected track, I could again choose outside folder and hit add track. If I wanted to route a number of tracks quickly to a group track, we could just hold down the shift key and now all the selected tracks will be routed to that group. Sometimes working with multiple monitors, you may not have the ability to quickly go to the setup window in the upper left hand corner of your primary monitor to turn on and off different aspects of the user interface. So if we take our mouse cursor and hover at the top, we could just see our user interface controls pop up directly there, which is handy if you're working across multiple screens. This also carries directly over into the mix console where you could activate and deactivate different parts of the mixer right here without having to go to the setup window. There's been some behavior changes with the hovering. So there's some different options. So as soon as you actually go to select over an insert effect, you can now clearly turn it off or on, but there's also an option if you right click to go to your inserts where you could now see not only just the plugin names and toggle that behavior, but you could also have a larger view where you could see the track controls and the plugin name independently. The media bay can be daunting for a lot of people because they could just see thousands and thousands of presets. So this has been enhanced pretty significantly by having different instrument presets with graphic user interfaces. So if you wanted to quickly pull up a Retrolog sound, uh, you can now just say, okay, I want to go to the new Retrolog 2. If I have a channel selected here, I could just take a particular patch and just drag it over here. This will load up the VST instrument channel. It'll place it directly below the selected channel. And now we could just quickly add VST instruments that, that fast. But if I wanted to add different drum loops, I can come directly here and I could see all of my different collections of drum loops. So if I wanted to just select different drum loops. Now, as I do this, you may run into situations where before you could drag it onto an existing channel, but if I wanted a drum loop that was already in a project, I can now just take that drum loop and drag it and where you see the green line, I could place it and it will automatically add that track uh, directly into our timeline without affecting any of the other tracks. So very easy to say, okay, I wanted to now come over here and find my pattern presets. I wanted to find my VST effects presets. So much easier to kind of navigate around. Now, one of the areas that's also very powerful in Cubase is a concept of the tracks can have two different time bases. So they can be based on musical mode, which is when we see the quarter note here, or time linear mode. So musical mode means that the placement of the file and the media is contingent upon the tempo. Uh, but a linear mode is contingent upon the time. So if I was wanting to do a project where we wanted to change tempos uh, and have different loops fit, I'd probably want that to be in musical mode. And if you have a large project, you may want to take a number of tracks and to be able to switch those all at once between linear and musical mode and back. So now if we go to our project logical editor, I could take a number of tracks selections. And if we go to tracks, there's a preset that's really handy where 
you could toggle the time domain for the selected tracks and just hit apply. So all of my selected tracks here can now be in musical mode that we see, or I could just hit apply and they're all now in time linear mode where we see the clock. And again, we could just kind of toggle back and forth without having to do that for each and individual track. Now, sometimes you may be working on different projects and you want to actually call up files from one project and easily merge it into a new project. So if we go to our file menu, there's a new option where we could go to import and we can say tracks from projects. So I'm gonna just open up a, a different project. I could see all of my uh, chord tracks, audio, MIDI, instrument tracks, and then just choose to import those directly into another project. And now I could easily have all of my data from different projects merged directly into my current Cubase project. So as you can see, the different user interface and track enhancements can really speed up your workflow in Cubase Pro 8.5.